Prior to configuring ANPR alarms, you should have completed the configuration of your vehicle lists. Here you can see I have two lists already in my system, so I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is adding an alarm. I can do this from the sidebar by clicking on Alarms and Events. I can also reach this location from the home page by selecting the Events and Alarms icon. I'm going to go to Alarm, and in this case we're going to add an alarm. Now because we're doing an alarm based on license plate recognition, we're going to choose ANPR as our source type, and we're going to need to choose a license plate reading camera. And then we have to choose the triggering event, whether it's a matched event or a mismatched event from one of our lists. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a matched event from my training list. You can see that an alarm name was automatically generated, but you can go ahead and change this. And you can add a description as well so that you understand exactly what the alarm was created for. The next area we'll look at is the alarm properties. First of all, when is the alarm going to be armed? So we have to choose an arming schedule. And what is our alarm priority? As well as who's going to receive this alarm? Under additional settings, you can also add related cameras. This would be cameras that might have an alternate view of the camera that's actually capturing this event. We can also choose if we want to lock our video files for n number of days. And we can also choose a map that we want to display when this alarm occurs. Now along with that, we have the option to trigger a pop-up window that would be within Control Client. And that pop-up window would display all of the relevant content associated with this alarm. The last section is probably the most critical and that's the action that we're gonna take when the alarm occurs or if the alarm is not handled within a certain period of time. So what can we do? We can trigger an audible warning. We can link an alarm output. We can trigger a PTZ, display video on a smart wall, create a tag, or send an email. In most cases, when we're talking about ANPR, we would be triggering an output or sending an email, but we're certainly not limited to these two items. Triggering an output might be used if the vehicle is a matched tag and we want to open a gate arm to allow the vehicle to enter a parking facility. Sending an email might be used if the vehicle is a matched tag but also is part of our VIP list. So perhaps we want to send a notification email to let someone know that their VIP has arrived on site. In any case, choose the appropriate action as necessary. And when you're done, you can click on add and the alarm event is added to the system. So here's my alarm name, here's the source, the triggering event, the alarm priority, the current status. Don't forget an important last step, which is always to test your alarm to make sure that it works the way you intended it to.